Hey everybody, Bill Owen from mmpctech.com. How you doing? Well, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm gonna make it up to you by doing a giveaway. Do you know what this is? You should recognize this if you've already been a longtime subscriber, fan, or customer of MMPC Tech. It's the world's most expensive fruit or vegetable slicer slash box opener milled from eighth inch thick pure copper it weighs about three quarter of a pound and then when you're done slicing open your new egg delivery you can use this for other things uh, like uh, scraping the ice off the window on your car no actually i wouldn't do that that's not a good idea uh scraping paint off your garage or your fence no not that'd be really stupid don't do it um no it's the pc mod ruler slash reference tool now, normally we make this from aluminum 6061. This is the one that you most commonly see in our store because, well, aluminum's cheaper. It's a cheaper material to buy. Copper, much more expensive. Um, and how many people can afford to spend $69 on a ruler? Not a lot. So I have to make videos like this or send samples to YouTube celebrities like Austin. Well, actually, I gave it to Austin Evans and I gave one to Josh Smith from Fractal Design and I sent one to Gordon Ung from PC World and Maxim PC and Wallace Santos from Main Gear Customs in hopes that they would just, hey, look at this, check it out, it's really cool. Or somebody would walk by the desk and say, what the hell is that? Wow, look how old. Oh, this is super heavy. Wow, what is this? Well, that's the MMPC Tech. Box opener, right, okay. Anyways, the aluminum version is $39.99, okay? Um, yeah, it's very handy. Uh, last year, again, uh, we made this video, How's It Made? And I'll put a link in the comments, uh, no, wait, in the video description so you can go and watch that video and see how all the different aspects of the ruler are made in our shop. But this copper one, yeah, I'm gonna give it away to somebody, a subscriber to my channel, and all you have to do is tell me, this is what I would use it for. I would use it for my draft assignment at school. Maybe if you catch me on the right day, I'll see that as a valid choice to give you one. No, no, I wanna hear about people that are modifying, customizing, and scratch building PCs, and they're gonna use this. Uh, well, Bill, I mean, how is that gonna help me? Um, how many of you have something like this at your workstation or on your workbench or in your garage? Or your dad had a jar full of these miscellaneous screws. My grandfather, uh, when he uh, had to move into a retirement home, I got to take on all of his miscellaneous screws. However, these are not them. These are strictly PC builds I've done over the years or just products that I've added extra screws and I toss them in here saying to myself, at some point I'm going to categorize those into jars or little bins or little drawers in a cabinet so I can go back to them and find them. No, and I haven't. And look, I'm even hiding more here. I've got more. I've got tons of these. Um, anyways, this, this little, uh, it's not a problem, but this little thing that uh, I've collected was the inspiration to start making a reference tool that was for PC builders, customizers, and people that do PC repair. In the center of the ruler are these threaded holes, and these are reference holes. So if you've got a screw like this you find on your workstation, and like, what, what the heck was this from? I forget. Um, you can check the thread on it. Uh, I know offhand that I've seen enough of them. It's a Hardware Labs Black Ice Radiator Screw, and they're typically M4. So you go on the back of the reference ruler, and you see which hole you can match up the screw to. And, well, it goes right into the M4 threads in real nicely. All these holes are threaded. Uh, there's been times when I've had uh, an M3 screw, and I, maybe I thought it was 632, so I can just go and check and see which thread it fits because they look similar physically. Um, what are all these holes on this end for? Well, um, I won't get too deep into the history of everything, but those of you that want to geek out and continue watching, uh, why not, right? Uh, you know, years ago, the company Bulgin, it's a UK based company, makes switches for uh, elevators or marine applications like uh, really. Uh, sexy yachts, speedboats uh, that have stainless steel 
waterproof electric switches for the control panel or dash in the boats. And those switches are typically 22 millimeter OD or 16 millimeter. This right here is not a bulging switch. It's just um, a Chinese copycat that we sell at MMPC Tech, but you could use it for power or reset. It's not illuminated, non-illuminated. It fits in there just like that. So it's kind of, uh, a nice little reference template. So if like you were going to put a power switch or reset switch, I don't know how many of you still use reset switches out there. Uh, well, hey, if you want to. Anyways, you put some tape down on the surface of whatever you want to add the hole to and then just take a pen or pencil and trace the circle. So that's 22 millimeter and then the next one is 16 millimeter. And this one here, is G3 8 BSPP, which I've yet to ever use one of those types of fittings, but I think at the time we thought, hey, we had the space, let's add it, why not? But this one here, yeah, I'll use this a lot. This is G quarter, which is, yeah, the standard size for the threads on water cool fittings. So that fits in there nice and snug, perfect like that. So you can use that for a template or also uh, toggle switches it's slightly off, but uh, you can also use that too. Now, all these scribed increments on the end, this is a tap and drill decimal conversion chart because, you know, I'd have to go onto Google Images a lot and reference that because I didn't have any type of reference poster up in the shop, so that's what I used to do, and I thought, oh, hey, we can add that. Now, all these ideas weren't mine alone. It was my friends that were also PC builders and modders I asked for their input on what we could do. So there's also some other additional templates on the front of the ruler. Um, here's probably the most common popular thing about the ruler, at least I've heard from customers, is on the metric side, the different reference points for all the standard size cooling fans that are out there. Um, for example, right here on the end, That's 60 millimeter. That's a 60 millimeter OD fame, uh, frame fan. And that metric side of increments for fans goes all the way up to 250 millimeters right there. Um, actually it goes up to 305 millimeters, but 250 millimeters is the largest size cooling fan that I've seen in a PC case, you know, it's on the side panel for cooling the GPUs, but most sizes, or, you got, or most common sizes you'll see, because they're also used in the front of a chassis, is 200 millimeter. Um, I've also, I think I've seen 230 millimeter too. So anyways, if you have got a large PC cooling fan and you're kind of wondering, I need confirmation of exactly what size fan this is, you can use this. Um, not only that, but I like the fact that with the copper one, it's very heavy. It's three quarters of a pound. So when you put it down, it's nice. And you got a nice beveled edge for, you know, measuring and making increments, uh, outlines of things and stuff like that. But, um, oh, I shouldn't, I almost forgot. On the end here is a thickness gauge for uh, materials too. What I felt was the most common thickness for materials that you would use for like scratch building or uh, doing window mods and stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. What else was going to mention? Oh, well this one I'm going to sign. I'm actually going to sign it right here for you. So uh, whoever wins it, yeah, it's got my signature on it. So again, just tell me what you would use this for. What type of project? I'd like to hear that. Also from people that have bought one before. What have you used it for? Uh, how has it saved you or helped you with something? If you're a subscriber and you've got one of these rulers already, just put it up in the comments. That'd be great. Let's see, should I sign it like I signed the Tristellar with the smile face? No, let's, let's not do the smile face this time. There you go. Now, since you're watching this video and you've held out this long, <laughs> I'm gonna offer uh, another discount. Well, this could actually be the first time I've offered a discount to our YouTube subscribers. If you go to mmpctech.com and at checkout, enter in subscriber in the 
coupon voucher window at the order summary page. Enter in subscriber and you'll get 10% off your order whether you order one of these rulers or whatever, LEDs, fan grill, case feet or whatever. And I'll run that 10% off campaign uh, until I announce the winner for the copper ruler. So it may be, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, and those of you that are overseas or Canada and you want to place an order, just make sure you go to the international order link at the top of MMPC Tech and contact us directly and mention the uh, voucher code of subscriber and we'll hook you up with the 10% off your order. So yeah, let's just close out the video and actually see if it's true from what I heard.